everybody, plagiarism is the act of taking someone else's work and claiming it as your own. I've been practicing this technique for years, both academically and monetarily. Most jokes you'll ever hear me say were likely stolen and appropriated for an audience of ADHD-ridden children. However, plagiarism does come with some benefits, like the ability to make an idea someone else had better than it ever could have been made by the original writer. Look at Street Fighter. Then look at Mortal Kombat. Do you see how one of these franchises are still making good fighting games, and the other are trying to appeal to the Chun-Li Fortnite SFM fandom? Sometimes plagiarism can be good, and it can make games that are more fun than the sum of its parts. Hey bro, can I copy your homework? Sure. Just change some things so the teacher doesn't put me in time out. Your only move is Hustle, a game that, despite looking absolutely phenomenal from the footage I just showed, is a mind game of prediction and autism. In Yomi Hustle, you play as one of four characters. The Ninja, a fast, brawler-style character with moves to fit nearly all distances. The Cowboy, the teleports behind you guy with a big sword and a fucking gun. The Robot a semi-clunky, ground-oriented fighter with armor lock from the Halo games. And finally, the wizard. A fuck The wizard is a ranged specialist with magic-oriented abilities. Okay, sure, that's cool that you know the characters, but I have no fucking clue what any of the information on this screen means. Okay, cool, sure, yep, cool. Let's break it down. Yomi Hustle is a turn-based fighting- Don't you click off the goddamn video, I see you, let me finish. Yomi Hustle is a turn-based fighting game. At the start, you and your opponent are face to face. Each of these buttons correspond to a move, whether that's an attack, a movement, or a defensive move. You can predict what move your opponent will make, however, there is zero guarantee they will actually make that move. For example, on the left, I'm the cowboy, and the wizard I am fighting has a move called Conjure Weapon. I will predict his move, as generally all of my moves give me frame advantage. Frame advantage is the amount of frames I have to combo the enemy before they can do anything. Knowing that if I dash, I can dodge his conjure weapon, I will now use my dash. Now to lock in my move and... Oh. Oh. As noticed by the fact that I'm now flying in the air, I guessed wrong. And the neckbeard playing wizard has completely smacked me into the air. No worries though as I know how to use my DI. DI stands for Directional Input. This concept is in most fighting games, mainly Super Smash Bros. I can use my DI to avoid strings of attacks and potentially get out of stun lock. I will attempt a DI away from the wizard. That, okay. Seeing as that, in fact, didn't work, I now have two options. One is to allow him to combo me, continuing to DI where I need to to try and escape the combo. And the other option is to use Burst. Burst is a free block that will push the enemy away from me if they attack me. However, if they block the burst, they continue to have the frame advantage. So, I will pray and hope he assumes that I use my burst. Awesome, he did. However, he's not completely vulnerable yet. He can whiff cancel, which gives him a one frame startup to a new attack. However, this is commonly used by all players. So, I will use my move to gain an advantageous position. Now that we are both falling in the same direction, I will go for an attack. So, this, right here, this, is what I like to call a bump. Bump stands for Beautifully Uncoordinated Movement Prediction. Effectively, both me and him thought we could hit each other. However, due to both of us using predicting that- Oh my god, I wrote this funny. Both me and him thought we could hit each other. However, due to both of us predicting that we would use entirely different moves, we bumped our attacks. He is at a significant disadvantage, as I am the cowboy. My attacks do best when I'm in close range to the enemy. So, now, I will hit him. Oh. Oh, no. The wizard has grabbed me. The only counter to a grab is another grab. Grabs are one frame, meaning that you can only grab to bump the grab. I said grab way too many times. What I'm trying to say is the only way I could have countered that is if I also grabbed. Anyway, he will now throw me. Hopefully, not combo me, but throw me. Awesome, he failed to combo me. However, I have fallen on the ground. When you are on the ground, you have two options. You can either get up, or you can dodge. Dodging is very pointless, 
as you get a significant frame disadvantage from dodging. However, it can be sometimes useful, but generally, the one frame get up is better. This guy is starting to annoy me, and judging by how he plays, I'm gonna assume he'll start shooting me with magic darts. So, I will teleport in front of him and ruin his day. I now have free range to combo the living shit out of him. Oh no! Remember the magic darty shot? Well, it's starting to catch up to me. So, I will block it. Remember burst? Well, I seem to have blocked his burst. Now, I have even more free range to continue a combo. As shown on screen, the gun that my character has is on the floor. At some point, I used gun throw, which drops the gun to the ground. I will now take a step back and pick it up. Oh, once you look at that, the wizard is flying towards me. I actually do not know what his next move could be. It literally could be anything. So, I will use the only move in the game, hustle. The hustle is like a taunt. However, it does charge your level meter. The higher the level meter, the better super moves you can do. Super moves are character specific, by the way. The wizard has sent three spark bombs at me. This is hellish, as I now need to play a frame by frame bullet hell to avoid his attacks. What just happened? Let me break it down. I knew he would conjure weapon, so I teleported behind him. However, he used whiff cancel to try and hit me. I blocked his tome slap, then hit him with a low attack, knowing he would try to block a high attack. Now, I have the advantage, and I will proceed to win the game. This is what you store at the start of the video. The replay of the entire match in real time. This is by far the coolest part of the game, and is the main reason I have nearly 20 hours in this game, although only owning it for like three weeks. That is effectively what a fight looks and plays like in this game. However, this game has an incredibly active Steam Workshop, featuring different characters, skins, and cosmetic modifications. Due to not having any friends to play this game with, I haven't used these mods. However, judging from the positive reviews, I have a feeling they would be worth a look. This game is incredible, and whilst I have a natural distaste to people with the name Ivy due to my traumatic experience with eating poison ivy, Ivy Sly has made an incredible game that allows me to beat up my friends without memorizing button inputs and reacting to frame-perfect attacks in real time. If you enjoyed my psychotic rambling about a game that most of my viewers won't even have the patience to play, please consider subscribing and commenting on this video. This is my first attempt at a different style of video, and I need all the criticism that I can get. Just remember, your only move is hustle.